to people what they think what God is because I don't believe you can actually explain it. I mean, throughout the history of man, I've, I wouldn't say I'm an expert, I've read quite a bit of Joseph Campbell and he was the one who kind of has disseminated all these myths from all these cultures from all time. And whilst there's similarities, they're all stories to try and explain the inexplicable because we, we want to have some grasp of who we are and where we stand, but no one can actually say it because it's beyond words. It's an experience. God is an experience. I, sorry, Matt, I feel like you want to ask me questions. And I, no, no, I'll I'm, keep I'm, going. I think you're making a lot of sense. But I meditate. I was introduced to meditation about 15 years ago, and I meditate twice a day. And if I ever feel close to knowing what God is, it's somewhere in the boundary of those, that half-hour period, twice a day when I meditate. Um, I think the basic idea of the meditation I do is to quieten the mind, to just let all that instrument calm down. And I sometimes have experiences where I feel a little out of body, a little time. Ideas of Hugh Jackman as a father, as an actor, all those roles we play just seem to melt away. And somewhere in there is where I have some glimmer some glimpse at what God is and it's a feeling and it's blissful and it can go like that and every minute you try and grab onto it it's gone we're householders right you're a householder I'm a householder we're not people who are born to sit up on the top of a mountain and meditate some are and they're incredibly powerful what they do but you and I basically we have a job and we earn money to look after family or whatever community we we, we give to society in whichever way we can and contribute we it's what in Indian or Vedic terms they call the way of the householder. But twice a day, even as a householder, twice a day for half an hour, I can dip into what I call that gold, that the substance of what is God, and just bathe in it. I don't, it's a different experience every time, but I get glimpses of something that energizes me on such a deep level. Uh, that I now, I'm not sure exactly what I'd do without that form of prayer. It's a way to be in touch with who I really am.